Hey everybody, it's Toby, and today we're going to look at the same top open side skeleton case for a GoPro 4 Silver. Now, I had the video made at one time, uh, the intro that had the box and the packaging all still, but then somehow I lost that video, and now I'm having to kind of reshoot, remake. Um, so kind of bear with uh, kind of the basics that this is actually going to be today. So we still have the product, and the the same top skeleton case is just like the standard case that comes with your uh, four silver or four black. The differences are is the same top has a soft touchscreen back, so you can use your four silver with it and still be able to. Uh, uh, access the touchscreen as well as having the um, let's see the cutout for the SD card HDMI and uh, micro USB USB cables so the one thing I really like about these these the skeleton style cases is you can use use them for time lapses I, because it, when you, a GoPro just doesn't have enough power on its own to do long term or long time period time lapses. So having just a, a case that's already pre-made with the cutout makes life a little bit easier. In the past, I've had to, here's my makeshift skeleton case. You can see we drilled out the hole just so we could get the uh, micro USB in, used the skeleton back, created another breather hole there, and three breather holes up front that you can barely see. So having one that's already pre-made so you don't have to cut up one that you use for underwater and any other uh, applications you want to keep it waterproof and protected from the elements. So nice the price of the same top open side skeleton case is $25.99 on Amazon so that's where I ordered mine through and came with the skeleton case it came with also which I don't have um, on me is just a um, a screw or a slide that goes into the the 3m adhesives as well as the uh, hand tightening screw so it does come with all that as and just in a nice little uh, package and again if you're just tuning in I lost the previous video that had the unboxing it had all the other components with it and now it's all scattered through uh, my endless supplies of GoPro product so unfortunately that's where we're at However, I did get out to go test it, and in this next scene, we're going to go into how I set up the time lapse using just your USB cable. Here, let me kind of makeshift put it together. So I, I have a four black. I don't have a four silver, so it doesn't have the touch screen. That was the one item I didn't get to test with the backing. However, I don't think there would be much of a problem being that same tops products are consistently top of the line. So here's my basic time lapse setup. I have a 
There's the skeleton case with the camera in it, the USB plugged in to your separate battery bank, and then the camera attached to a timer or any other some sort of stand. Uh, here's my 60 minute 180 degree timer. So that's just one of my standard ones. Uh, sometimes I even just leave the timer even fixed and then create the pan inside the video. But here's my basic setup that we're gonna be using for the upcoming time lapse. So tune in and we'll get to that time lapse and show the setup and what I do. And you'll see that the camera being out all night and exposed to the elements and even having the open side doesn't be isn't adversely affected. Here I'm at at the base of Big Four Mountain and we're gonna test the same top uh, skeleton case with the um, LCD touch back backing on it and we're gonna try to do a night lapse of the Cascade Sky from this vantage point and just uh, set it up on a uh, battery backup and then um, kind of hide everything kind of in these trees and just tuck it away for the evening so they'll be the wiser should know it's even here now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna set this camera up and we're gonna go through and just do just just set up and once I'm done with there then we'll start the night lapse get a couple pictures of showing how the system is all set up and then uh, we'll just leave it and see how it turns out tune in
Okay, so I have it pretty much all set up. As you can see behind me, it's not the prettiest of things, but it should work. I'm at the end of a dead end street and up the road a ways, and there should be nobody that's gonna be coming down here to look who's wiser. Uh, not for 24 hours. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to pick up all the equipment and then just kind of get out of here. But uh, here's, let's take a close look at where we're at. So just two bungee cords that are holding the, the GoPro to the tree. Cause uh, I really didn't know what size I was gonna be working with when I got out here with my angles. And I really want to uh, try to get big four in the night lapse. So that's, that was the goal. And uh, so again, we got a uh, V-Sync battery bank, just a standard USB cord. And the V-Sync is just covered by some plastic bags with the cord popped out. So the USB cord popped out so we can charge it. As you can see, it's plugged into the skeleton case right there. And our view. It's gonna look something like that tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up the night lapse mode. And we'll get it going. So it's next day. I just parked at the end of Mountain Loop Highway, walking back to the spot where we set the camera up. So hopefully everything goes well and it's still sitting there. I'd be highly disappointed. Have two days of work go by and have no camera to, or film to show for it. So walking up, actually another great day. Let me spin the camera around here. And there it is, still there with the battery bank and all. Let's say pretty successful at this point. Now, as long as I have the settings and everything good and the case held out, um, last night it should have froze out here. Uh, so with having a little bit of exposure from, or little not having a sealed case, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that the GoPro shouldn't have froze because it's powered up all night and should have had enough heat to keep the water off it. So as long as it's down there still running, we should be good. And if my settings are okay, should all be all good for the uh, night lapse. You know, it's summing everything up from 
the type of case it is to do what applications are good for the skeleton style case with the LCD uh, touchback screen and you know for the test I did with the uh, time-lapse you know I have to say the same top skeleton case held up very well because one thing I was concerned about being the time of year here is in Washington in the mountains it can still get frost and um, I was concerned that there could be moisture inside the case that could cause the lens to fog up when because being plugged into a battery bank for all night the camera would tend to run warm and so if moisture did get in there I was concerned it would fog it up that did not happen at all um, so either the moisture that was there never got into the case or it's just the camera stayed warm enough, warm enough to where it was never allowed to actually form on the camera inside the case itself. So I was really pleased that I could use this case and not worry about losing, getting home, editing the footage, and having you know a whole night's worth of video or, and images scrapped because of fogging. And I didn't use any anti-fog. Um, uh, strips. I've never used those actually. So this was just the the standard case, the skeleton case, plugged in and running all night. So I have to say once again, Same Top makes a nice product, and I think it, it's especially for the twenty five ninety nine, twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents price on Amazon. I don't think you can really beat the case. It, it's durable, and it, it functions good. So. Again, check check Same Top out. Look at their uh, quality products and, and purchase them on Amazon. I, I know I will keep doing that. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. And if you like what you see, please don't hesitate to either watch another video, uh, subscribe with a, a link below or at the end of the video as well. And thanks for tuning in.